Hello, I'm Svetlin Naku from Soft Unit Global. I'm here for the next episode from my Dev Concept series. In this video lesson, you'll get an idea of bitwise operations, how they work and why we need them in computer programming. I'll explain and demonstrate the main bitwise operators. Not, and, or, XOR, shift left and shift right. And I will introduce the concepts of bit masks and how to use them to process data at bit level. We'll solve several practical problems using bitwise operations, like get the last bit from integer, get the bit at certain index from integer, change the bit at certain index in integer number, extract the bit before the last from integers, and a few others. I'll give you a few examples of real-world applications of the bitwise operations, like uh, networking protocols, binary file formats, image formats, data compression standards like zip and gzip, cryptography and encryption and blockchain, signal processing and many others. So make sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you enjoyed this content uh, because this helps a lot uh, for me to, to support this free activity. All right, let's get into the bitwise operations video lesson. In this section, we shall learn about the bitwise operations in programming and how to process the bits in the integer numbers. We shall explain how to use the bitwise and or not and XOR as well as the bit shifting and bit masks. We shall demonstrate how to extract, modify and manipulate bits in the binary representation of integer numbers and why we need this in the digital world. Bitwise operators work with the binary representations of the numbers, applying bit by bit calculations. For example, if we have two 8-bit numbers, we can apply a bitwise operation which takes as input the first 8 bits and the second 8 bits and produces as a result new 8 bits. A simple bitwise operator uh, over a single argument is the tilde operator, the bitwise logical knot, also called negation. The operator tilde uh, turns all zeros to ones and all ones to zeros, uh, like the exclamation mark operator for the Boolean expressions, uh, but it works bit by bit. For example, if we have the binary number 100, zero, zero, its negation till the 100 zero, zero, is 0, 011. One, one. The operators vertical bar ampersand and caret behave like the mm, double vertical bar, bar, double ampersand and caret for Boolean expressions, but they work bit by bit. Uh, the bitwise OR operator den denoted by the vertical bar, bar in, the, in most programming languages returns one if one of its input bits is one, otherwise returns zero. The bitwise AND operator, denoted by the ampersand for the most programming languages, uh, returns 1 if both of its input bits are 1, otherwise returns 0. The bitwise exclusive OR, XOR operator, denoted by the ampersand in most programming languages, returns 1 if one of its arguments is 1, but not both in the same time. Otherwise, returns zero. The table on the screen illustrates the work of bitwise OR, bitwise AND, and bitwise XOR operators. The bitwise OR operator, uh, the vertical bar, this vertical bar, uh, has the following truth table. Zero or zero is zero. Zero or one is one. 1 or 0 is 1, 1 or 1 is 1. The ampersand bitwise AND operator has the following truth, truth 
truth table. Uh, zero, zero and zero is zero. Zero and one is zero. One and zero is zero. One and one is one. And the exclusive, bitwise exclusive or operator, uh, just a moment, the bitwise XOR operator, the, the carrot, the, the, the carrot uh, has the following truth table. 0 XOR 0 is 0. 0 XOR 1 is 1. 1 XOR 0 is 1. 1 XOR 1 is 0. Let's see several examples of bitwise operators over simple bit sequences. The bitwise node, the tilde operator for the number 5, which is 0, 1, 0, 1 in binary form, is 1, 0, 1, 0. The bitwise and ampersand operator uh, for the numbers 5 and 3 which are 0, 1, 0, 1 and 0, 0, 1, 1 uh, in binary form is 0, 0, 0, 1. See? The bitwise or the vertical bar operator for the numbers 5 and 3, which are 0, 1, 0, 1 and 0, 0, 1, 1 in binary form is 0, 1, 1, 1, which is uh, 7 in decimal. Uh, and the bitwise XOR operator, uh, caret, for the numbers 5 and 3, which are 0, 1, 0, 1 and 0, 0, 1, 1, uh, in binary form is 0, 1, 1, 0, which is 6 in decimal. Bit shifts are bitwise operations where bits inside a number are moved or shifted to the left or to the right. During the shifting operation, the bits that fall at invalid positions are lost and the bits which come from missing positions are replaced by zero. For example, left shifting using the double less than operator uh, of given 8-bit uh, integer moves uh, the bits from 0 to 7 to positions uh, 1 to 8. The leftmost bit at position 7 before the moving uh, uh, is lost and the rightmost bit uh, at position 0 after shifting takes a value of 0. Shifting left a decimal number is equivalent to multiplying by 2 when the integer does not overflow, of course. Uh, for example, 5 shifted left is 10. In a similar way, the right shifting using a double uh, greater than operator uh, of given 8-bit integer moves the bits from 0 to 7 uh, to the right at positions from uh, minus 1 to 6. Uh, at the rightmost bit at position 0 before the shifting uh, is lost and the leftmost bit at position 7 after shifting takes a value of 0. The shifting right of a decimal number is equivalent to integer division by 2. For example, 5 shifted right is 2. Bit shifting can be applied for 8-bit, 16-bit, uh, 32-bit and 64-bit numbers as well as for numbers of other size in bits. 
The bit size of the number being shifted defines the valid bit positions and where the bits get lost. Bits can be shifted by more than one position. For example, 5 shifted left twice is 20. And 5 shifted right twice is 1. Now let's review a practical problem from programming. How to get the last bit of given integer n. In this example, the last bit has value of 1. Recall that the bit numbering starts from 0, from right to the left. The last bit is the bit at position 0, the rightmost, the rightmost bit. Let's see this example. We have n equals to 125, which is 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1 in binary. The last bit is 1. We shall use a bit mask of 1. Uh, which is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, all bits 0, uh, and the last bit 1. We apply bitwise and between the input number n and the bit mask, and this operation extracts the last bit. The bitwise AND clears all the bits except the last one. If it is 0, it will remain 0. If it is 1, it will remain 1. All other bits will be cleared to 0. Finally, the output will be 0 or 1, matching the last bit from the input number. The above sequence of operations can be written in a short formed by the following formula. Was bit equals to n ampersand 1. The was bit of numbers in fact defines their parity, odd or even. Odd numbers has 1 in their was bit. Even numbers have 0 in their was bit. Now let's solve a more complex practical problem. Extract the bit from given position. How to get the bit value at position p from given integer number n. Let's take an example. n equals 125, which is 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1 in binary. Uh, p equals to 5. This is the position 5, which is the sixth position from right to left. And the bit value at this position is 1. If we shift to the right, p times the input number n, the bit at position p will move to position 0. c. Shift 5 times. And this goes here. It will be the last bit in our example 125 shifted 5 times to the right is 3. Then we can get the value of the last bit by applying bitwise and 1. And in our example, 3 and 1 is 1. This is the desired result. The bit from position 5 has value 1. Following all these considerations, we can derive the following short formula for extracting a bit from position P from the number N. Uh, bit equals to n shifted p times to the right and 1. The next problem we shall solve using bitwise operations is to assign a value for the bit at given position p in given number n. Let's think on the following question. How to set the bit at given position p to 0 or 1. To clear the bit at position p, which means to assign 0 to this position, we can use the following steps. Let's take our last example. p equals to 5 and n equals to 125, which is 0, 1, 1, 1, 
1101 in binary. We create a bit mask with all bits 1, uh, except the bit at position P, which is 0, 1s and 0 here. This is created by the negation of 1 shifted p times left. Then we apply the bit mask with the bitwise AND operator and we clear the bit at given position p. While we keep all other bits unchanged. To set the bit at position p, which means to assign one at this position, uh, we can use the following steps. Again, let's take our last example. Uh, p equals to 5 and equals 125, which is 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1. And we create a bit mask holding 1 at position p with all other bits 0, this one. Uh, this is one shifted left p times, p times. We apply this bit mask with the bitwise OR operator and we set to one the bit at position P while keeping all other bits unchanged. Now we are ready to solve the initial problem. Assign a value P for the bit at position P in given integer n. We can use the following short formula. n equals to n and the negation of 1 shifted left p times or p shifted left p times. The formula in fact does do two things sequentially. First, it clears the bit p in n. And next, if b is 1, it puts 1 at position p in n. Looks complex, but if we understand in depth how bitwise operations work, such calculations will be easy to construct. As you already can see, combinations of bitwise operations can manipulate the bits in integer numbers. But why we need these bit manipulations? Why we need bitwise operations? What is their application in the real world? In programming, in software systems, in hardware, in communications? Processing bits is important for many fields of computer science, information technologies, and software systems. Why? Networking protocols, data storage and file systems, binary file formats, memory management, data compression, data storage and file systems, data encryption, video streaming, Internet of Things, IoT systems, low-level programming, computer graphics, and many others. Here are a few examples of bitwise operations where bitwise operations play an important role. In networking protocols, bit-level processing is often used. Many devices communicate using bit-level protocols. For example, the SIM flag in the TCP protocol's header is the bit number 1 from the 14 bind in the TCP packets. The TCP, which stands for con Transmission Control Protocol, is the main protocol used to transmit data when you open a website or send email. So it's used very much in practice. Hence, the web browsers use bitwise operations to open a website. Many binary file formats use bits to save space. For example, PNG images, the portable network graphics image format, uses 3 bits to specify the color format used. 8-bit color or 24-bit color or 32-bit color with transparency. These 3 bits are located at certain offset in the PNG image header bytes. So reading and writing the value encoded in these 3 bits require bitwise operations. Most data compression algorithms replace bit or byte sequences with shorter bit sequences. For example, the deflate algorithm used to compress data in the zip files 
finds the most often sequences and replaces them with shorter sequences. While it preserves a dictionary uh, between the original bit sequences and their shorter compressed form. This is done using heavy bit level processing with bitwise operations. Now we shall solve a practical problem. To extract the bit before the last, the bit at position 1 from given integer. At the example, we have 51 as input, uh, which is 00110011. The bit before the last is 1. We can solve this problem as follows. We need the bit at position P, which is equal to 1. The input number n is 51, which is 00110011 in binary. We shift right p times the input number n and thus and thus we move the bit from position p to the last position 0. Finally, we take the last bit using the well-known formula uh, ampersand 1 and ampersand 1. So, did you like this video lesson? Do you want more? Join the learners community at softuni.org. Subscribe to my YouTube channel to get more free video tutorials on coding, dev concepts and software development. Get access to more free dev lessons and learning resources for developers and wannabe developers. Get free help from mentors and meet other learners. And it's all free. Yes, absolutely free. So join now at softuni.org. Meanwhile, well, you can check out my other videos from the Dev Concepts series and from the Code Lesson series, where I explain and demonstrate many concepts and technologies from the software development profession, and I teach coding with hands-on exercises. So please check out my uh, YouTube channel and also you can type in the comments below what topics you would like to see next. Goodbye, see you in my next video.